Memories. So this is our vestige, so these are our memories. I think it's going to forcefully equip us with uh, not particularly good equipment. Lost the very essence and became puppets of the enemy. Some of you had to fight former. I can sort of respect the story for kind of but you still managed to return If this was Final Fantasy, Silver would just be an arsehole. And, and it would turn out that of course of course he'd be behind the conspiracy. Either that or there'd be someone behind him who portrays him and uh Remember the comrades. And then takes his place as the final boss, basically. I, Gregorio Silva, pledge this to you. And even though he's not just an unrepentant arsehole, he's still the final boss. That's kinda of good. Yeah, it's gonna put us in Queenslayer gear, I think. Remember to keep your hearts covered. There's no coming back if you get hit there. Now's a good time to take a drink. Mm -hmm. Cursed beast! This world of people are fighting and dying around us. Blinding! <laughs> The actual cutscene with the Queen is really good. Not perfect, because nothing in this game is perfect. But, uh, you know. I don't really think of this as a AAA game, even though it clearly probably should be considered that. If I think of it as a middle shelf game, everything is really good quality. Including, like, the, the janky cutscenes. But uh, whoever's making this probably can't afford the uh, the, the rendering uh, budget of a uh, Final Fantasy title, so I'll cut them some slack in that regard. <laughs> Welcome back. How are you feeling? Do you know where you are? You were killed two days ago, and now you've returned. Apparently it took a lot longer to come Just back to the old days. Here, could you fill out this medical form for me? <laughs> I'd like to confirm some things if that's all right. How much do you remember about yourself? Yes, I'm, I'm glad I mostly fixed the clipping issues with my face. It used to be so distracting. It's still a little distracting, but it's not nearly as bad. My hair no almost looks like it's not clipping <laughs> compared to what it used to do. You appear to be in excellent shape. The damage to your heart had me a bit worried. But you're surprisingly resilient. I feel like the Japanese actor put a bit Still, of a spin on that. Feels <laughs> off, be sure to let me know right away. Otherwise, I can't explain the animation. <laughs> revenants are immortal creatures. Plot, plot, plot. However, if you become one of the lost, you'll be beyond any hope of salvation. Here. The Queen's miasma has been growing thicker. When you're fighting, just remember to hang on to this, no matter what. Looks like it's time for the meeting. I know you're probably not feeling up to it. But it'll be over soon enough. Hang in there. Gumbete? Probably. I haven't actually listened to the Japanese the whole way through, so I don't know. <laughs> but I think I've watched enough uh related products to guess what kind of line they would use for that kind of uh emoting my cat is in my lap once again 
Seems like she sees me recording gameplay footage and comes in and goes, you're going to be sitting still for a while, eh? And then this is my bed. Oh well, I have to talk about something during these ridiculous loading screen. Anyway. How's your little brother? This should be alright. He hasn't woken up yet. Yeah, there's no sign of rejection, but it's still worrying. Here's some important characters. It seems you've been assigned to Jack's team. Aurora, that was her name. If you feel you're in danger, don't hesitate to fall back. For a female Everyone character in this game, skilled, she's almost ordinarily dressed. Easily. I know Karen in <laughs> So Although her hair is ridiculous, so I guess that's where she put her skill points. It's entirely your choice. Even without the threat of the Queen. Blood, we created so many rep. Silva wants to liberate the land the horrors took and give it to the surviving humans to secure blood. I'm trying to resolve the issue in my own way. There are a number of fascinating points in your blood data. They only bring so up the horrors every now and then. Would you? But they're kind of important. <laughs> so, even we create so This guy's ridiculous outfit actually uh Do you remember the day of the great collapse? We've kind of, uh, like I'm kind of getting bad flashbacks of, uh, we'll having to fight him later on. It is rather terrible. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, up to speed on what goes on in this area. Finally awake, new kid. You fought the queen the other day. I've heard you've got some skills. Sounds like you might be used. We're headed out. Now, thankfully, uh, we're gonna use. Jack doesn't actually force myself himself into my party. I was a bit confused the first time I came through here, but I think what happens is as long as you have a partner, Jack just takes their place during this section. But if you're not partnered with anybody, you just stay unpartnered, which is good. That's what I like. There's a report that the Queen broke through our defensive grid and is headed this way. It's definitely good to do this part before you uh, fight the rib cage. However, our foe was also hurt. Because then you actually understand what Jack's talking about. This is our chance to finally turn the tide and crush her. Just be sure not to drink the Queen's blood. Too many of us have joined the ranks of the lost after their bodies rejected it. it does seem like a Watch weird thing to do. There. <laughs> Got it? Right. A little bit weird. Looks like it's time for the party. Let's be sure to give our guests a warm welcome. And yeah, I mean, uh, this is not my gear. And the game has a thing about wearing the appropriate attire for that cutscene. I mean, I guess at least it gave me an upgraded version of it. <laughs> I feel like I had that before and it wasn't upgraded, so did it just auto-upgrade on me? I guess that's nice for, of them to do that for me. <laughs> I suppose for the moment I have no reason to uh, change my build. On the other hand, I'm starting to remember what this place is like and it's not going to be easy. Uh, I guess there's, there's no opposition until we reach the mistal. Gonna be a lot of storytelling happening here. <laughs> well, look Let's introduce that. another plot point. This is lucky. It's a type of medicine. Spill a drop on that. This is basically where we're like, hey, the Queen's blood. It revives mistles. And your blood also does that. Could there be a connection? <laughs> Which point you're like, of course. Of course there's a connection.
Time for more talking. Don't worry, we won't need our masks here. This is one of the products of the Queen's power before she frenzied. That medicine is made from the Queen's blood. It cleanses the area of my ass. They sort of offhand talk about the horrors, but they don't really come into into the plot until very late in the game. Even the techniques and then you're sort of like, oh, that's what you were talking plans. about this whole time. She was a revenant, just like us. And then we get a sequel bait, probably. <laughs> or something along those lines. Safety. And I'm fine with that, because I want a sequel to this. She had the potential to rise to even greater heights. She was consumed by her own exceptional power. As much as there's a lot of shortcomings in this game, they could totally fix it. I know I should probably be paying attention, but... <laughs> if those are our only two options... Well then... I choose to eat. This, this wasn't exactly, uh... Incredibly unpredictable storytelling happening here. So use it wisely. And then Jack promptly disappears. Because, <laughs> you know, screw that guy. Now, are you going to behave yourself? Oh. Seems like he is. Jesus, do I really have 50 Eichel? Is that a bonus I get for being in this area or something? I surely do not have 50 Icor as a default. That would be mental. Okay, I've got 24 as my default. For whatever reason, I just have max right now. I do not know why. <laughs> Maybe that's some sort of uh, gimme that they're affording me at the moment. Certainly doesn't make it too hard if they're just gonna stand around. Oh, hi. Yeah, it would be rather easy to be overwhelmed here if uh, one made some bad mistakes. If they're gonna give us me tons of Icor, I'm just gonna throw shit. Watch if I don't. Oh. Get electrocuted. Oh. I'm being rather flippant about this, and I should not be. Nope. Get bent. And I think there's a big guy around here. Yep. His weapon is relatively puny though, so... Strafing around him actually does work for, this, for a change. <laughs> I don't think my critical... Oh wait, I don't even have that on, so that wasn't even an issue. I thought I had the backstab uh, passive on for the uh, boss that I just fought, but I guess not. Oh, that guy was a sniper, so I really don't care about him. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's a lost invasion in this area. You can get around it, but... I'm just hoping I don't accidentally run into it. I think I know where it is. There's actually quite a few problems to do with this area. For, for what is a really compact area, it's actually quite easy to get confused in the uh, building sides of things. I don't think I'm going to have any problems out in the open here. 
long as I walk carefully around that one spot. <laughs> so how do I do this again? If I go down there, I'm going to be in trouble. So... Right, but if I go up here, I'm also going to be in trouble. What's the correct way to do this? I guess I'll go up first and see what stands out. You can just stun lock those guys with a fast weapon like this. You know, those guys are a little dangerous. You can deal with them, but a dangerous thing is a dangerous thing, after all. If I walk up that way, I'm going to run afoul of the Lost Invasion. But if I had the barracks key, I'd be able to get around them. guy's not cooperating. But I also don't like you, so... Eat the lightning fist of justice. Lightning is my preference. Uh... Oh, there's the barracks key. Okay. This is how you get around it. So now we go back this way. Jump up here. problem is if you just walk up the hill from this side you'll end up up here and if you go up here down to where that item is over there you'll trigger the invasion I think is how it works but for now I want to go down this way If I really want to clean up the items, I shall do so at a more convenient time. It's not going to look good for you. Nope. Off the edge. Yep. Nope. Just got to be careful I don't sprint right into a bottomless pit. That would be embarrassing. And one missile for... Oh. I grabbed the ladder. One missile for your consideration. And fair enough at that. Okay, good, she's going the other way. So I may have some chance to kill off some of these minions and doggos or whatever. That's a very good way to get rid of one guy. Oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Nah. Damn it. I wasn't ready. Oh well. I guess we start again. Damn it, I was really close to the next mistle, too. Hmm, speaking of which. I feel like I'm missing a map mistle somewhere. Because obviously this whole area should have been mapped at some point. Oh, you're still alive. I'm sorry. That was dreadfully rude of me. Well, I guess at least... This is actually quite an adequate shortcut. Unfortunately, the first time I played this map, I uh, didn't realize that you could drop down off the cliff over this side. And so every time I got sent back to this pistol, I had to go through all the enemies at the front. And it sucked. It really sucked. I think I can just... Yeah, there we go. This will work. This will let me grab this up here. I have no idea what the... Uh item that the other side is. 
but I do know it's not worth getting attacked by Lost. The timing was right, but the result was not. Oh crap. I was hoping for a slightly better result. <laughs> it's alright. We're under control. Main thing is... That the only people who got hurt were them. I'm just gonna fry some brains here. Shall be my recompense for all the trouble they caused me. There should be a doggo here somewhere. Yep, here he is. In the face. There's actually quite a few things one can do around here, but I better go find that missile. Should be here somewhere. Be nice if that guy just stayed there. Thank you very much. Yeah, how much map did I just get? Oh, that's a lot of map. Okay. I guess I don't need to go find a map mistal. Yeah, I'm not entirely certain how efficient this is, but I'm just gonna... Start from the bottom here. Hi. Oh. Well played. Let's put you down. And keep up the good work. Where are we going? Now we go up. I'm guessing this takes us up to the floors where the three ambushy guys are. Yep. And that is good, because that means no ambush will occur here, in this day. Yoink! No immediate need to kill this guy. I think I shall. It just seems like the right thing to do. Alright. Now, did I miss any items up here? Doesn't look too bad. If I remember correctly, yeah, there's one person down there. Being a bit of a sad sack. Oh, blitzed. Blitzed and good. Oh. Somebody else might be patrolling around now. Yep. I see her. Soften them up a bit. Oh. Ah, good. I think this person has the key. Yep, there we go. They normally don't wake up until you go over there, but seems like I caused a fuss. I can't believe that dog will survive all that. What kind of messed up luck was that? It's literally just trying to soften him up a bit. And 
that was the one thing that didn't work. Now there's things to be considered around here, I think. Oh. How are you surviving that kind of assault? I do not know. I know it's not very accurate, but I didn't think I would have to hit them that many times. Now I think this is a shortcut. So ladder down. Hooray! The whole thing goes much better when you don't have to uh, do it again anyway though. I'm hoping for a near flawless uh, execution here. Not that my execution up to this point has been flawless, so... Maybe that's just arrogance. That's right, there's a way down here too, isn't there? I'm just asking for something to hit me in the back of the head, but it looks like that's not the way of things this day. Now, there's an enemy around the corner. Put up my defenses, and what the hey, let's just really make sure we're ready. Oh. Wasn't fast enough on the draw. This particular missile took me ages to find the first time, because I wasn't using a guide or anything, and I was just like, where, where do I drop down? <laughs> These places could be pretty confusing. Even though in real life they'd be super easy to uh, figure out because you wouldn't have to not climb over these tiny fences. Pure blood is a good item to have. I don't know if I can open this shutter there. I need the storage key for this one. The key I picked up opens the way to the rest of the level. but only in the sense of uh, past this mistal. Whereas if I think if I want to get the storage key, I have to keep going this way. Hmm. Maybe I should have dropped down from there before. Oh well, too late now. Oh well. This fire works on him just fine. I totally rolled way too early then. I rolled so early I had time to roll again. <laughs> oh. That was a bit... I don't think I would have hit that anyway. They're not very good at what they do. Um, mm. I feel like this is the way to do it. I really hope there's nothing behind me. being more than a little reckless, I think. But, I got a chest. And I got a mistal. I got some assholes hanging off the side of a cliff. Where is this storage key hanging out? Ooh, 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 that. I'm not quite ready for you. It's one of those cases where it's like, where's the, where is the obviously hidden enemy? Here he is. All right, 
feel like I had a little recording snafu there, but shouldn't have lost more than a few seconds. Yep, not going too bad at all. I feel much better about all this than I did the first time. There's the storage key. What's all over there then? Well, there must be something over there, so now I'm curious. <laughs> I seem to remember there's a tough enemy behind the storage key door anyway, so maybe I should... ...make some effort to murderize a few of these. Ooh, nice greatsword. Don't mind if I take this there, because there's a guy coming, and, uh... I would really like you dead first. Okay. Now, that's the boss room. But we can't get to it from here. And... I think this is largely just an area to tease me. Because <laughs> you're not you you're supposed to go you're not you're not supposed to find the mistal right away. You're supposed to see it over there and go, how do I get there? And then live in frustration for a while. That's the sort of game this is sometimes. Is that guy still down there? I don't know. I feel like maybe I missed something, but it's hard to say. Or well, maybe not. Just trying to remember how to get to the storage door. Might as well heal. It's not going to be too much to this next bit. Pretty certain you just go in and fight the one person and then collect ye treasure that you can find. Yep. But this person's also a map missile, so... Oh crap. I hate it when I miss do it. Oh crap. Okay. I'm very glad I have that ability compared to my first run through this game. <laughs> I, uh, I used very light weapons on everything. And generally made the whole game much harder for myself. But I think we're already challenging ourselves enough, so... Let's not push our luck. Oh, maybe this is the way to get it. Um, no, that doesn't make any sense. Might help though. Because it looks like it's going to drop us out this way. And then I can go get this item. Excellent. Not that, not that any of this is really worth collecting. But that was a pretty good run through the whole shelter area, I think. Uh, I've got. I got lots of haze and nothing to do with it. So I'm just not going to think about it. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Uh, someone's trying to shoot me behind me, isn't he? Yep. Oh, wow. I literally did the worst possible thing I could do. I'm about to be murdered horribly. In fact, I'm gonna I'm calling a do-over. Not happy with that. Everything could have been done better. First, let's take out our ranged opponent. Oh crap. I hate it when the lock-on drags me around.
Okay. Might not be perfect, but hey. This is almost magical compared to my first attempt, so... I need at a time like this is some lifesteal and we'll be good. Lifesteal is a surprisingly late game addition. <laughs> uh, I think there's a problem here. I just don't know what it is. Something in my brain said monkeys. But I don't think it's specifically for this item. I think maybe it's when I walk forward. No? Okay. Maybe not yet is the correct word. No, I guess not. I thought for sure a monkey would drop down on me. Well, colour me surprised. Well, here's the last one, I think. That's 100% map completion. Yeah, these two guys are guarding a chest, I think. I'm gonna kill him. Oh well, not like it matters that much. I used to be pretty good at these guys, but apparently I've been slacking off. Night Fang. Okay. Fair enough. I really want the, the silver coat is the one I'm looking for, but I don't remember where it, where it is. And I'm too lazy to look up where it is. Oh well, once I go down there, we're going to start more stuff again. And it's going to suck because it's been a while. He might not be as tough as the later version, but this is still gonna suck. Oh well, if I have to change my build, I will have to change my build. But for now, I think I'll just go in with what I got. Cutscene! Drinking, and Jack will Completely pretend to help. The revenants, the Queen's sorry puppets. You can say that, but he's. Listen, kid. Don't call me kid. Show them no also, don't adjust your mask like you're adjusting your stupid glasses. You weird, weird character. I don't hate Jack. I'm just. That was a bit much. That was a. A strange interpretation of a, an old trope. Now what are you gonna do? Ah, oh, crap. That's right. He knows the power of spin to win. Yeah, I'm not falling for that. Oh, well. Oh, the good thing is, lightning definitely works. Oh. The bad news is that spin is still really hard to dodge. Thankfully I can sort of absorb it, but uh, if I take too many attacks like this, then the whole thing is going to go balls up on me. Oop. I sort of know how to dodge it, but not when he's right in front of me. To be honest, I might actually be slightly better at this when he's faster. Because long periods of time training myself to play this game. I 
at its worst, and Dark Souls games as well, I means sometimes it's much easier just to fight an enemy that's completely jacked compared to one that has really measured strokes. I didn't see what he was doing. I thought it was just a double dive. I mean, realistically, this isn't going too bad at all. These lightning attacks are messing him up. Finally did a charge. Oop. Oh, well. oh. Wow! What a fumble! I thought for sure I was going to get the last blow in there, but apparently I just misdodged that one attack. <laughs> and that's all it took. I didn't have my blood shield up or anything, so... Yeah, that'll do it. Ugh. That's just embarrassing. I feel bad for myself. Just kind of conceited, really, but hey. Oh, yeah, you gotta do it twice. Sloppy. My sloppiness knows no bounds. Time. Yep. I fell for the oldest trick in the book. Oh, good. Thanks. Jump up. Jump down. There we go. See, I can't dodge through it. I just have to figure out what I was doing wrong. It's not impossible for me to parry this guy, it's just not usually worth it. There's only a couple of moves I could parry, and I'm not good at reading them apart from other moves. I would have to do like the second slash on his combo or something like that. And that's tricky. Oh! Shield back up. Can I get a heal in somewhere? I'll do it, but it's a very fine line. That was a, that was weak. You really got to do it at point blank range, or it's not worth it. What's your plan? Yeah. I tried to parry the second blow, but apparently you have to be really, really fast on that one. Like, here's where I'm, like, going to screw it up again. Maybe not. I mean, you can still hit me with that last minute charge and that'll be the end of me. Oop. This asshole. Nope. 
No. <laughs> Can't quite close the deal. It's like nothing about this is specifically difficult, I just can't quite finish him off because I keep getting suckered and then don't recover. And then don't use my abilities properly either. Probably lost all my uh, haze before, didn't I? I can be quite philosophical about losing my haze. Oh, damn it. Can't stay in front of him for that one. Like this, I'm gonna be like this. your next move, huh? Oh, that's actually a pretty good move. But you fudged it up. Ow, poo to you. That time I just got the timing wrong. Because he suckered me again. I can't believe this. It seems so easy, and yet... I feel like I'd rather face his later version if I'm going to be dodging teleport tricks. Weirdly enough, the later version's uh, teleport attacks are easier to do deal with sometimes. Because the rules are more specific. Even if the, sp the speed increases, but the actual rules of what to do are more calm. Less random. <sighs> nah. I'm really sorry. That stupid spin attack. Sometimes I can dodge through it, and sometimes I can't. I know a lot of people use the teleport thing to go through it, but for some reason I feel like I should be able to go through it, and therefore I sort of exist in that belief. Even if there's no merit to it. I'm going to make you turn around this time. See, so yeah, I got through it that time. I think it's a matter of having enough stamina. On top of everything else. This guy. See? It's not impossible, it's just... Stupidly difficult. More, dif more difficult than his position in the, uh, the game warrants. Oh, whoops. That wasn't what I went to do. Oh. If you're going to do that, don't do it with your back to the cliff. That's just irritating. Now then, what's your next move? Big 
Ah, damn. A direct backward dodge does not work. It never does. Oh, crap! Sometimes the attacks you want just don't happen. Like I said, I just gotta conduct the fight properly. And everything would be fine, it's just... I like this guy, like, as a boss, but... Firstly, I'm absolutely, completely giving away the ghost here. Not that it matters that much, because it's not like I've been using up my healing. I've just been dying instantly to the stupidest combos imaginable. Don't dodge early enough, that happens too. Ah. I mean, this kind of thing only happens because I'm staying really, really close to him too. Backward when that happens. I never used to have this problem. Ah, I dodged backward. I fully deserve to uh, get destroyed there. I was saved by his incompetence, not my skill. Eat the thunder. Oop. Ah, oh, damn it. No, nope, not that one. Crap. No, nope. you're not getting me this time. I shall snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I like the boss, but Jesus, I was having a bad time there. I can't do flawless. <laughs> it Cascadia. never happens. Well, I guess it happened against Arden Wolf Berserker. That, that guy doesn't years. count. He's not a boss. I wish I could turn the uh, music up for just this one cutscene. How many of them are there? Did I make it? Silver, you tank my frame rate. I'll take the spear. <laughs> All right, gang. This is the moment of truth. Any of my people again. At last, you 
can know peace. What? Kid! It's like they're doing their best with what they got. <laughs> That's probably the reason they had you, they forced you to wear a particular kind of armor during this cutscene. Because, uh, we need the claw, or this wouldn't work. <laughs> But apparently she's very not dead, so go figure. <laughs> The Queen's Knight at this point might be really difficult, but, uh, you know, for all my bitching, it wasn't that bad. Your resolve nope. was truly admirable. I think I saw his textures pop in just then. <laughs> yep, there's some as well. I think you could avoid that during cutscenes at least. But, what are you going to do? I am a cliche. <laughs> Away we go. Hey Jack, remember to kill people. Remember to make sure they're dead next time. Don't let them fall into the pit. How many bad guys have had their, uh, well not bad guys, I'll take that back for Jack's case, but how many people have had their plans thwarted when they thought they killed somebody and threw them off a cliff? <laughs> but, this should give us an interesting blood code. Queenslayer. High HP and endurance. Which is nice for me, because I have no HP and endurance, as it is. What's the uh, scaling here like? Oh, A. A dexterity and B strength. And better yet, the vitality is only one scale away from uh, being able to use foul blood. Which is the other thing we need. I suppose the only other problem would be the uh, gift distribution. I'm relying a bit on light gifts, but this is obviously not going to be quite as good. However, cleansing light is incredibly good in a whole variety of situations, so we're going to have to go get it. So I'll see you in a bit when I rebuild my uh, my uh, equipment. <laughs> 